Hi, I'm Katherine Pankey, and I wanted to share some interesting nutrition tips uh, for your wellness, your health and wellness. And uh, my story is that I had a passion that started in college. And it was my first course that I took, and uh, I learned so much in this course on your digestion and your health and wellness and exercise became very important to me and I was just exposed to some interesting things for instance uh, the teacher came out with a popcorn bag and um, it was a microwave bag that she split open down the middle and it was uncooked popcorn and she opened it up and there was this mound of lard with the corn kernels in between and that awareness just blew my mind that here I could be popping this popcorn in the microwave and not even know what was inside and the effect of it on your body. So I also came in uh, contact with um, at the time uh, she became a good friend of mine and now we've been friends for about over 25 years and she's been a big influence in my life in teaching me about nutrition her background was in nutrition and she taught me about macrobiotics and about health and wellness in general and um, she even touched on the probiotics and and enzymes and how important they are and just kind of introduced me more to alternative health and wellness um, issues um, that we could be you know diving into and using in our life so that is a, a big history of mine and also you know taking different classes and courses along the way and just driving my passion and accelerating it. Um, I recently also have come in contact with uh, a doctor in internal medicine um, who specializes in um, also nutrition and obesity. So that has uh, brought my awareness to a lot of issues as well uh, to our, in our health. Um, some of the things that I've learned from her is the harmful foods in our diet that we sometimes tend to go and grab and, and think maybe they're healthy, but they really aren't. One is yogurt. Uh, yogurt, if it has more than 20 grams of, of sugar, uh, not good, not good. You know, those little go uh sticks that um, you're, you know, you, you've given your kids, they're just so high in sugar not good um gosh i remember when i had kids i maybe gave them um, some of those as well so you think back and like oh gosh what was i giving my kids uh, and those are the ones that you can actually freeze too so uh anyways uh not good if it has a uh, high sugar in it and another one would be uh, breads so i know these days we all know okay white bread okay not good uh, but wheat bread has been also known to not be good and that is purely because of if it has high fructose corn syrup in it and high fructose corn syrup has um, there's a chemical that it's not recognized by our brain and it makes us want to actually eat more so high fructose corn syrup I know a lot of us know that it's not good for you but why why is it not good for us? So uh, the next um, harmful, harmful food would be cereal bars. And one of the uh, main ones uh, would be Fiber One bars. And believe me, I was there too. I thought Fiber One, my uh, son had some stomach issues and he needed more fiber in his diet and so I thought oh you know fiber one good good stuff uh, but it also has um, the high fructose corn syrup and it's just not good for our bodies uh, so especially if you have those cravings to to eat more it's just not good so um, in fat loss um, 
we that's a big one for people right you know a lot of people want to reduce their their fat in their bodies and so you can start off with something temporary which is dieting and doing a cleanse um, but what you see there is this roller coaster right so we don't want to stay on uh, diets or you know stay on cleanses but we want to sure you know I, I think that those are good to have every now and again um, but instead what we really need to do is have a lifestyle change and a lifestyle change you're going to basically see with the fat it's just going to be this gradual loss so that is healthier for you as well right so um, our digestive system um, doesn't know how to process harmful foods and what you're doing when you have food intake you either can make energy or you can make fat so most of us definitely want to make some energy right um, that's the best way um, to utilize your food so um, basic, basically another thing that I wanted to go over is uh, three fat loss helpers and those would be uh, enzymes are a big one and basically let's see what our enzymes do they help us break down our food for better absorption of our nutrients they help us break down fats and the carbs they also help with digesting the proteins and the fiber and of course along with that you're going to need to increase your water intake that's just a given you need to have water so that everything kind of just flows properly so with enzymes, I wanted to share with you, I have been doing um, Young Living essential oils. And that has been a, a very nice blend and addition to my health and wellness uh, journey. So not just only learning about nutrition, but then tying in the essential oils. So I wanted to introduce a couple of products um, that relate to better absorption of your food. And um, I also mentioned about the probiotics. I'm gonna talk about probiotics. So enzymes, essential enzymes four. This is a Young Living product. I don't know how they can see that better. There you go. That's really good. And, um, you know, it's Young Living is a health and wellness company that believes in uh, a toxin-free environment. So there's no chemicals, there's no, there's no toxins, and complete health and wellness. And we also infuse the essential oils into our products. So with the essential zymes four i have been using them and noticing a big difference um, and i want to share that with you it has a multi-spectral enzyme complex that aids in your digestion with a dual time release technology which helps you um, in digesting all of your food um, it releases animal and plant-based enzymes of at separate times in your digestive tract okay so this is going to be for optimal enzyme absorption now the result is going to be that you feel better you let's say you have a big meal and you take this about probably 30 minutes before it's a good um, rule of thumb and what you feel is that you don't feel the bloated you know you don't feel bloated you don't feel the gas that would uh, accumulate uh, you don't feel the fatigue or the brain fog that you can have in just um, 
eating your foods and not helping you to help proper digestion and, and, and breaking down those foods. So also um, your body with the enzymes is getting the proper nutrients. So it's breaking down the food so that your body gets the proper nutrients and delivers it to your body. So really important uh, enzymes, I, I can't stress enough, uh, especially if you have those really big, large meals, like we, you know, we're just coming off of uh, Thanksgiving. And uh, especially when you're eating uh, that large of foods with all the carbs and you know, foods you're not um, used to having on a day-to-day -day basis. So the next one here would be um, your probiotics. And not all pro probiotics are created equal. One that Young Living has put together, this is called Life Nine, I'm trying to see where it feels better, called Life Nine Probiotics, and there are 17 billion active cultures in this one. And nine probiotic strains for natural digestive balance and supporting a healthy immune system. So that's what you're doing. You are adding good bacteria into your stomach and it's providing um, a better environment for your immune system. And for your immune system, you have um, at least 70% of your stomach is your digestive system. So that's really important. Um, it's also been known as your second brain. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention was preservatives. So preservatives in your food form a block around the food and then this gets turned into fat. So women who are have never had an issue with weight and then all of a sudden you are going through premenopause or menopause and um, all of a sudden you're storing this weight around your hips and in your bottom and in your thighs and it's because of a couple reasons uh, your preservatives that are in a lot of our foods especially if they're processed they're not the whole foods um, you know a whole carrot or uh, your whole, you know, just meat uh, and whole potatoes. So yes, uh, that is adding to it and as well as the sugar. So any sugars, even natural sugars, are going to be just, wreck, it wrecks havoc on our, our home hormones as well. So that's some of the reasons why um, if you haven't had any problem with weight gain and then all of a sudden you reach those magic years of menopause or premenopause, it's going to show in um, those different areas of your body. And so when you are using enzymes and you're using probiotics, that uh, that is going to definitely help in the weight, uh, you know, the you're losing weight. So the probiotics um, are only adding good bacteria to your stomach and they're helping against any of the bad bacteria as well. And anytime you have um, overeating, that can also um, be a disfavor in your digestive process. So when you, there's a little bit of overeating, um, you know, you're having dinner and then now you're eating the snacks afterwards and um, you might even have sleep issues because you're putting all this food into your body and it's having a hard time digesting. So what I would recommend with the probiotics is taking them at night. So you would take one capsule at night after a meal that's the best way to take these probiotics. And I don't know if I went over the essential enzymes, but they um, are a delayed release capsule. And you would take um, two, two capsules two times daily with your largest meals. 
So each of the capsules, just so you know what some of the ingredients are, there's some ginger and fennel and tarragon and anise, lemongrass essential oils in the, this product. And um, there's also some bee, bee pollen powder in here and the lipase. The lipase is what's gonna break down your carbs. So I have noticed a huge difference with using these essential enzymes as well as the probiotics. And I hope that's really, really helped you. Um, just knowing that these two products uh, can help you in your health and wellness and help your digestive tract and help you process all those foods, especially any of preservatives or uh, fats and the proteins as well. So I hope that was helpful for you and uh, stay tuned. I will have more uh, coming up. So on uh, the road for better digestion.